Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to my From the Depths tutorial series. Now, today, I've gotten some requests for a shipbuilding tutorial, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's not going to be anything huge or fancy, but you can take the, the basic principles I'm going to tell you about in this video and kind of just enlarge it and make it bigger. You know, there's no rules saying you can't have a super giant dreadnought if you don't, if you feel like building it. You can do whatever the fuck you want, because you're your own boss. Yeah, so to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into build mode, and you do that by hitting B, and then once you're in build mode, you hit E, and then you get this menu, menu up, and then you want to click on new object, and we want a new vehicle, and it will always be a wood block. And from there, you can start building on it. And what I'm going to do, just to make things a little bit easier, is I'm going to uh, use this tractor beam to grab onto it and just hold it up in the air. <clears throat> so now that we've got that, uh, you go back over. And you go back over. Why aren't you working? Come on. There we go. Okay. You go back over, and you have this wood block, okay? This is your ship. This is our ship. There are many like it, but this one is ours. And it is a single wood block. GG, guys. This is basically the best ship ever. Um, nothing will ever beat this. If you want to win, just build a bunch of single wood blocks. And that will be our your armada. And you will crush everyone beneath the heel of your wooden block. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, though. The first thing that I do is determine the general dimensions of the ship. I usually start out with length, uh, so I'm just going to build out to, let's say, like here, yeah, right there. It's just going to be a really tiny ship. Okay. And then from there we want to determine, okay, how tall do we want it to be from this point? Uh, and to do that, this is going to be the very bottom of the ship. It's going to be the keel, if you will. Uh, so to take care of this, I'm going to go into blocks. I'm going to grab like wooden blocks on one. Um, down the slope, I don't want that. <clears throat> uh, where's the one meter? Whatever, I'll go back to that. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, blocks, lead block, put that in number two. Uh, wood block, uh, down slope three. Okay, that's basically what I wanted. And so we are in mirrored mode. I just need to take a second to figure this out. Okay, there we go. So we have this going on, and then we can just uh, start building out from there, and this will start forming the bottom of the ship. I'll probably add, like, um, Another th another line of blocks down there, but I'll get to that later. Uh, this is just going to be a really, really <clears throat> basic ship. Nothing fancy about it at all. Um, we're going to build out again with another uh, down slope like this. And the shape isn't going to be the prettiest thing either. One thing you have to keep in mind with this game is drag is a thing, both in the air and in the water. And the way you can check that... First, let's, uh, let's go out to this ship. Here, can I make it? Yes, I can. So you hop onto your ship, and you hit V. And all your drag is under... <laughs> we're rolling over. Is under physics information. It shows all the types of drag in each direction. Uh, obviously, there's not really going to be any drag on it, because, you know, it's just tractor beamed in the water and stationary. Um... Uh, that velocity will go back down, to back probably back down to zero once the tractor beam stabilizes it. But if you're in the water, you'd see all sorts of uh, stats here that you can use to optimize the uh, the hydrodynamics of your ship or aerodynamics if it's an aircraft. <clears throat> so let's just hop back up here. All right, there we go. I'm just going to build from out here on this uh, platform, just so it doesn't roll over like that. <clears throat> Alright, so we have a little ship. <laughs> and honestly, I'm probably just going to leave it like this. I don't really care. Uh, let's make it a little bit prettier, actually. Like, I lied. Um, mm -hmm. 
Well, first things first, let's add... Oh, that's right. You gotta turn on your symmetry mode every time you leave building mode. It's a little annoying. I wish it would save at some times, but... Actually, do we really want to do that? I don't know if we do. Let's do something like... Like this, maybe? How does this look? Yeah, screw it. We'll just go with this. Okay. So this will be, like, the, um... The main body of our little ship. Um, nothing fancy, again. It's gonna be open-topped as well, which I don't normally build, but just for the sake of the tutorial, just basic concepts. You know, determine your dimensions of the ship. Like, what kind of shape do you want the ship to be? And then from there, I add all the components. Um, a helpful tool when you're building more complicated ships, obviously this one is not complicated at all, you can hit P, and it will shrink down your blocks. You can use this in any kind of build mode. Whatever you're building, it can be a useful tool, especially in tight spaces. Um, this also makes it easy to see your center of gravity. Now, this is really, really important to keep in mind when you're building ships, aircraft, submarines, really just about anything other than fortresses, because the center of gravity will affect how your ship sits in the water. You know, if this the center of gravity, which you see right here, it's a little weight, a little triangle weight. If it was over here, the the front of the ship would be leaning, would be pointing down, and that could cause problems. So, a general rule of thumb, unless you're trying to do something specific with your ship, is you want to keep the center of gravity as centered as possible, and as low as possible. The lower in the ship your center of gravity is, the more stable it will be on the water, the less likely it will be to roll uh, and capsize. And to accomplish this, I like to use lead and metal blocks below the water line, and as, as needed to shift it forwards and back. But always put your heavy components, if you can, as low in the ship as possible. This includes the engine block. That is probably one of the heaviest things in your ship, if you have a large ship. Uh, so yeah, remember to keep your engine block as low as possible. Um, another thing you want to do on larger ships that doesn't apply to this ship is compartmentalize. Make sure you divide your ship into different areas. That way a hole breach in one area won't flood the entire ship. And that leads me to another side point, is use these uh, air pumps. They will keep water out of your ship. It may not actually appear like it yet, but you will see that it provides buoyancy, and you will notice a difference. So compartmentalize your larger ships, and make sure you have air, pump, air pumps in each compartment, unless you want to um, sit lower in the water, which can be a viable solution in certain situations. It can make you more stable. Obviously, though, if you have more surface area in the water, you'd have a lot more drag. So that's just something to keep in mind. There's trade-offs either way. Um, but, yeah, so that's some of the basics there. I'm just going to add some lead blocks here. I don't really give two shits about how this ship looks. Uh, I don't build the prettiest looking ships anyway. Like, I, my ships are usually really functional, but not the prettiest to look at. <clears throat> so we have this going on for us. Uh, and keep in mind that like this is not a tutorial on how to build a pretty looking ship. Not at all. I just want to keep reminding you of that. Like, ah, there we go. I just want to build a semi-functional ship to show you some of the basic concepts of how to build a ship. So that you can take it and build pretty ships or whatever the hell you want, you know? So we're going to go to blocks. And we're just going to... Not that. We're going to go this. And Seriously, what happened to the wood blocks for, like, the side, like, the left and right slope? Are they non-existent now? Inverted triangle, that's all two-meter shit. Square corner, corner, da 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 I mean, we can use uh, these down slopes for other things. Oh, wait, that's right, they added a new thing. Okay, so one thing you need to keep in mind that you can use instead of fucking around with the, um, the, like, looking in different directions and hitting G to lock the, the, the rotation, all you have to do is hit G, 
and that allows key control. You can hold tab and the different um, orbits, I guess, I don't know what to call them really, will show you what keys you need to hit. So see the green one, WS. If I want to move it forward, I hit W and it moves it in that direction. Or rather for you guys it would be that direction looking at the camera. So see you do that and you have all sorts of fun little keys. So eh, 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 eh. Alright, see, there we go. And then since it's mirrored mode, it'll mirror it over there on the opposite side. And then you can use a corner block here, and that should fill that in quite nicely, actually, if we decide we want to do that. Wood triangle left. Wooden triangle corner. You know what? I always forget about that new feature. It's a really nice feature. Alright, see, and there you go. Now we have a semi-smooth rear of the ship. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's relatively smoothed out, and this right here is a place that we can throw a propeller. Which I'm actually going to do right now. I don't know how this ship is going to sit in the water. I like to test it out. Uh, but let's just throw a propeller on there. Uh, you can add as many of these as you want. You can also use huge propellers. Um, I'll get into a more advanced shipbuilding tutorial um, later on, and I'll talk about how to set up thrusters and stuff like that. But that's not something you have to worry about for a ship this size. Um, a ship this size, you'll probably be okay with just rear-facing thrusters. Also, there's nothing stopping you from using a jet engine on a, uh, on a surface vessel. Just saying. We could totally slap this fucker on like that. It'll be pretty great, but, you know, we're not going to do that in this tutorial. Uh, rudders, you want to make sure it says it right here. It might be kind of covered up by my face cam, but rudders are controlled by vehicle controllers in water mode using H and K for left and right. Force the impart. The force the impart is relative to the vehicle mass. So you might only need one. Place these as far back and as centrally as possible. And I don't think I really need to tell you guys this, but it only works when underwater. So if you're the rear of your ship, if you know, like I mentioned earlier, if the, your center of gravity is really far towards the front, and the rear of your ship is just kind of sticking out of the water, um, your propellers won't work if they're not in the water, and your rudder won't turn the ship if it's not in the water. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, but you never know with some people. So I'm just going to throw down this rudder. And now we're going to see how the ship sits in the water, just because I'm kind of curious now. So we're going to turn the track beam off. And that is about how it's going to sit as is right now. Remember, we're going to be adding a little bit of weight to it. And just looking at how it's sitting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the engine in the back. And um, we'll call that good. And then I'll form a little cone, a little bow, a proper front of the ship uh, in a second here. Um, we're at, what, 13 and a half minutes. Okay, I got a little bit of time yet. I've gone over most everything that I want to cover in this basic shipbuilding tutorial. Um, again, I will be doing a more advanced one in the future, so fear not. I will be here to teach you more things. Fear not, for I am here. Oh, seriously. I love this new feature with the being able to tab. I don't remember how long this has actually been in the game. I just keep forgetting about it. So, fuck! I forgot. I went out of build mode, and so again, you have to hit N on your for your, to put down your mirror placement. Talking, it is so difficult. I don't know how to do it. Someone, please make a tutorial video on how to speak English, because clearly, I do not know how. Uh, so we're gonna take this. Oh my goodness, yes, this is this is beautiful. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to do that. Something like that. Uh, don't really give two fucks about this. I'm just going to kind of, eh. Good enough. Okay. We're, we'll call that good. And now we're going to get this. Fuck. Wrong button. Tab. Oop, that's actually the orientation I want right there. And then I can boop. Boop. <laughs> this is like the ugliest ship I have ever built. Um, but it'll be functional. Ish. 
it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world. And now you can place your engine block, and if you haven't watched my engine building tutorial, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you should watch that. Uh, just, yeah, you know, watch it. You'll like it. It teaches you how to do things. Uh, this is not my normal design for ships, engines, but... You know what? Screw it. This is such a little ship, I probably don't even need this much. I don't even know. Engine known fuel tank. Okay, and another important thing that we have yet to actually even touch on is control blocks. The most basic control block, you can hit your vehicle controller, ship's wheel. This is the most basic thing that you could possibly use to control a ship. And then you can go to control and you can place a chair so your character can sit down and be all comfy. Alright, so we're going to board this ship. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna release the, um, the tractor beam. Release the BDR. Off. All right, so we're in the water. Uh, might need to tweak some things. Not sure yet. Might actually have a little bit too much lead. Yeah, so that's just something you gotta kind of play by sight. You know kind of tweak things, like, okay, maybe this will work, you know, add a little bit of lead here, add a, bit, a little bit there, um, but no, this ship is really stable, I would definitely take some of the lead blocks off and just see how it sits in the water after this, um, I'm actually going to do that really quick right now, so we're just going to get rid of, how much should we get rid of, probably... I mean, the ship is pretty centered. So we can do... See, when I deleted that... Here, I'll place it back down. But see, when I deleted... When I placed... When I deleted that, how the center of gravity shifted back. Here, now I'll place it back. It shifts shifts around. So you keep an eye on it. Boom! It shifts that far back. That's how much it makes a difference on a ship this small. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. And it's going to keep it balanced, you know? So we're going to delete that. And see, also, as I'm deleting these, the center of gravity is also shifting up. But right now... Right, so we're not sitting as low in the water, but notice how we are less stable. And to fix this, you can add little stabilizers jutting off the sides, little floaters. Um, there's many different ways to combat this, but on a ship this small, it is a little difficult to make it stable. Um, another thing you could do... <laughs> <laughs> this is really ugly and really limits you in shallower waters, but you can just do something like this. Watch this. This is great. Oh shit, what happened there? Um, you can just take, just fucking take this, just build a wood pillar down, and then just some lead, like this. And look how low that shifts the center of gravity. So, something like this might be useful in a sh little kind of ship like this. Um, it's ugly as hell, but it'll make the ship a lot more stable. We're at 18 and a half minutes, thereabouts. Alright, so see, we're just cruising around on our new little ship. Nothing to see here. Um, plenty of engine power, look at that. We're using, I'm at full throttle right now with a single prop, and we're using only five units of power. So the engine can be tweaked a little bit, doesn't have to use that many things. So, you know, it's, a, it's part of its trial and error. Like, even when you're an experienced shipbuilder, you just gotta try new things, just see how things work and how things fall together. But I want to thank every last one of you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you build a nice little ship. Build your first ship, because that's what this tutorial that is meant for. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, add me on Steam, ask me questions on there. I don't care, I'll probably link that in the description. Um, just feel free to ask me anything, and if you have any requests for any kind of future tutorial videos, just let me know. I'll see what I can do. Until next time, though, this is Ryan from Strombully Games, signing off. Thanks for watching.